Hello guys and welcome back to another plan with me. Today I'm setting up the month of April and the theme is, well, flowers I guess. No specific type of flowers, just flowers that remind me of spring. I don't think all of them actually bloom in spring but they fill me with that spring feeling so I just went ahead. Since I'm not very good at drawing flowers, I decided to sketch them all out before filling them in. And really this is such good practice for me because I really suck at drawing flowers and now I am forced to draw flowers for this entire month. So yeah, good luck to me and my learning how to draw flowers. I've got a sweet pea, a daffodil, a dandelion, a daisy, I've so got some cherry blossoms and so on. I don't know what all of these flowers are called in English but I guess it'll be fun to guess what flower it is. <laughs> I actually enjoyed drawing these flowers a lot more than I thought I would, taking into consideration how bad I am at drawing them. And now I'm just filling them in with my acrylic pencil. I didn't use water with them since the water really makes the colours bleed through to the next page and since I didn't want that I just let them be as they were. This theme really fills me with so much spring feeling. Oh god it makes me so happy. Oh and I apologize in advance for the weird lighting throughout this video. I was filming this on several different occasions because of some technical issues. So yeah, be warned, the lighting will get a little wonky later. After filling out most of the page with flowers, I wrote out April on this brown paper, ripped it out and glued it on to the page with my Tombow glue tape. And so on to the monthly overview. I wanted to do something a bit different from what I've done before but I didn't know how to make that happen but my dear best friend gave me the idea of writing the number of each day inside the box with a light pastel colour as I'm doing now. However, I made the same mistake of not counting the boxes correctly and had to cover it up with this brown paper. However, I really liked how it turned out, so I don't really mind. Then I simply wrote out the date of each day with the acrylic pens. I just darkened up the numbers a little with a light purple. Onto the decoration of this page, I wrote out a pro in this light green and made a gradient to a darker green. I think it turned out pretty well. The flowers I drew really changed from now till the finished product. I lost that footage but basically I just went over all of the flowers with my acrylic pencils, added some new flowers and overall just gave the entire spread a makeover. On to my habit tracker. I didn't want to have to flip back to last month to see all the habits that I want to track so I just wrote them all down on a sticky note and had it on that page. Yeah, I'm just sectioning off the part of the habit tracker that I don't want filled with flowers and then I am drawing out lots and lots of flowers along the side of the habit tracker. As the ink is drying on the habit tracker, I'm starting on my mood tracker 
and this is a format that I've never tried before. From this circle I am drawing 30 dotted lines and the idea is that for each day I will draw a flower on one of these dotted lines. The longer it is, the happier I am that day and if it's a really really tiny small flower it's been a really bad day. When the ink is all dried, I am going in with my acrylic pen set again and giving all of the flowers colour. Overall, I really like the look of my habit tracker. I love how it looks like the flowers are just sprouting out from behind it. I decided to keep the craft paper theme going strong and so I made the header of the mood tracker the same way as I made the others. Something went wrong when I numbered the days of the uh, habit tracker. I got all confused because of the flowers so I couldn't see the dots as clearly but I fixed that no problem. Onto my brain dump page. I made another craft paper header and stuck some washi tape to it to give it some extra spring feeling. I wanted it to look like the bottom of the page was part of a sort of spring garden or something so I drew lots of flowers sprouting up from the bottom of the page and I actually really like how it turned out. It's absolutely one of my favourite spreads for this month. Another new thing for this month is that I am going to attempt the no spend challenge meaning I will be attempting to not spend any money any day for the entire month. Now I know I won't be able to not spend any money but I will try to spend as little money as humanly possible. So my next spread is dedicated to that challenge. I am drawing out 30 boxes, one for each day and then filling each of them in with the number of the day. So the thought is that for each day that I haven't spent any money, I will draw a flower in that box. And for every day that I did spend money, I will just cross it out and make it look like death came and said hello. Just to make myself feel a little worse for spending money when I shouldn't. And now on to my weekly spreads. This month I'm trying to save some space so the first two weeks will be on the same spread. I have done this kind of spread before where I have two weeks on the same spread and it's worked fine in the past so I think it's gonna work out just fine this month as well. The reason why I picked these two weeks to have the same spread is because the first week of April I am on spring break so I won't have as much to do as I would on a school week. I'm trying to keep it kind of simple with the layout so that I can fill the empty space with lots of pretty flowers. Similar to how I decorated my brain dump page, I am adding some flowers in a sideways view but only one type of flower with some different colours. I thought it added a really cute element to the page. For the second weekly spread of the month, I am doing the horizontal layout and it's kind of an ongoing story. Above Monday, you can see there's a tiny little sprout and it grows until on Sunday, is a flower in full bloom, kind of representing the spirit of spring. I lost the footage planning out the rest of the month, but here is the final flip through. 